Hey guys, Beta1 Studios right here with another very interesting tutorial, and today we're going to be doing some troubleshooting inside of Premiere Pro. More specifically, we're going to learn how to deal with the infamous Unknown Error dialog box. If you've never encountered this error before, good. Hopefully it'll stay that way. But on the off chance that you do run into it, well, that's what this video is for. Alright, so here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And as you can see, I've got the file for a tutorial that I just recently released. And it's called 2D Animations Inside Element 3D. If you haven't seen it, you should go and check it out. I'll have it linked down below. But anyway, just as a demonstration, I've set in and out points on a tiny portion of this video so that we can work with a smaller edit line rather than this massive 17 minute video. So here I am going about my regular workflow and now I'm ready to export my video. I do the usual press Control M to export, check all of my export settings to make sure they're okay, and we go ahead and hit export. So it starts exporting and it looks totally normal until boom you see this monstrosity of a dialog box. Error compiling movie, unknown error. Yep, that'll happen. This is basically the stuff of nightmares for video editors. Now some people, when they see an error message like this, will just give up. But you? No, you're not that kind of person. You're the kind of person who stays up late working video edits to meet deadlines for clients, or to push out quality content to your viewers. You're not going to let this measly little error message stop you from finishing a video project, are you? <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, we've just got this error and we have no idea how to fix it. Or do we? Let's hit cancel to go back to our edit line and think about this for a second. In order to know why our video isn't exporting, we need to know exactly where the problem is. So let's go up to sequence render in to out, and what this does is exactly what it sounds like. It renders each and every frame from your in point to your out point. But if there's a particular frame that produces an error when rendering, then you'll know exactly where your problem lies. So let's let it render out here and see what happens. Aha, just as expected, there's an error with this render as well. So let's take a look here. This thin strip of colors here is the render indicator. Green is stuff that's fully rendered, and red is stuff that isn't. Presumably Premiere Pro stopped rendering exactly where our error is, so we should look at where the indicator strip turns from green to red. And we find it right here, right around the 46 second mark. And we can also see that there's a video block that starts right around that point, my little tutorial intro animation. So, we can safely conclude that this particular video is what's causing the error. Alright, so now that we've found our problem, what can we do to fix it? Well, there's a couple of things that you can try. What I did in this particular case is take my animation, which was originally an imported PNG sequence, and re-render it as a lossless.avi file, and I tried using that instead. Really, all you want to do is try re-rendering your error video into a different file format, since, as Albert Einstein once said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So I guess the conclusion here is, just don't run yourself into a corner by trying the same thing over and over if it doesn't work. Try re-rendering into a different file format, be flexible with your workflow, and most importantly, don't give up because I've often found that the solution to a problem always pops up when you least expect it. Alright, so that's about all I've got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will catch you guys next time.